Finally time for Foodie Friday. A Portland woman is mastering the language of chocolate through her carefully handcrafted treats, and we're talking about her like she's not even here. Yeah, but she is. Christina Yen made a career change from the corporate world to chocolate so that she could spread this happiness, and we are very happy to have her here oh, this you. morning. Christina, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. So this is uh, your your business, your creativity in the world of chocolate. A Yen for chocolate. It's over in Northwest Portland. You are definitely going to want to check out some of these treats. So tell us what what made you want to switch from a, a corporate career to the world of sweets. Oh gosh, um, goes way Give back. Give us your life story in like oh, 30 man. seconds. You know? <laughs> um, I was in Washington DC in the corporate world and I just wasn't very happy there. I think yeah. my creative side was wanting to come out and for some reason within that context it just wasn't happening. And so when my husband and I moved here to Portland, I decided to switch careers. I um, wasn't quite sure. I wasn't finding the types of careers that I was finding in DC here in Portland. Okay. Political activism wasn't quite the same thing. Sure. Didn't have the same meaning. Yeah. When I found out that I had to like, I don't know, hug a tree, hang from the bridges. I was like, that's not <laughs> what I thought political <laughs> activism meant. So um, I saw that there were culinary schools in Portland and I thought, you know, I always love food. I think food brings people together um, across different cultures. So yeah. I called them and just to have some, find out more about how it worked, what kind of courses I would take. And I thought it was an informational, like, conversation. They were signing you up? <laughs> yes, a couple of days later, they called me. And she's like, well, we're pleased to tell you that you've been accepted. I was like, I didn't know I was applying. Uh, I didn't know oh I was gosh. applying. So then I told my husband, I was like, I think I'm going to culinary school. And he goes, I didn't know you applied. And I was like, I didn't know I didn't either. Know. <laughs> so. Wow. So culinary school, you found this passion for, for dessert and pastry. And mm -hmm. then you ended up doing an internship in, in France, right? Yes, I did a three-month internship in Paris. Oh, my gosh. Fantastic. Um, so how did you zero in on chocolate? Um, I have a sweet tooth. <laughs> I think about sweets all the time. <laughs> we, we feel that here. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, I focused on chocolate because chocolate to me has a very long history. I grew up in South America, so cacao has, it, it's just part of, I guess, like somebody who grew up in France, wine is in their mm -hmm. blood. Sure. So um, I think, I mean, chocolate dates way back to the Olmecs, to the Mayas and the um, Aztecs. So I always, I think that's rich in history. That's something that makes me happy yeah. to be able to connect with uh, my background and share it with the community. Oh, you'll cool. Love what you do and you'll never work a day in your life. There is nothing average about your chocolate and your shop. Tell us about what makes it special, what you offer, all of that. Oh, gosh. Um, I love to, my, what really gets, gets me going is to come up, create different flavors. Mm -hmm. So using different spices, different herbs, um, how much I infuse and what I can combine. Um, one of my favorite projects is Valentine's Day several years ago when I, um, I had the idea. It's like, what if I looked up spices and herbs that represented love in different cultures and create yeah. flavors out of those? Oh, what a cool idea. And I used to write like um, note cards explaining what the spices uh, represented and yeah. why I combined it the way I did. So that really um, excites me. Um, I like to make the chocolate as simple as possible, mm -hmm. like not add a lot of sugar and just basically cream and chocolate and herbs and spices and really let those flavors shine through. What a yes. cool way to kind of connect cultures to and, and tell that story through food all the way to the, the sweet finish. That's great. So you've got a shop on in Northwest Portland. Mm -hmm. um, is, it, is it general retail? People can come in and try stuff. I know you do some custom stuff too. I do, yes. Um, I do a lot of online orders as well. And in terms of retail, I'm open on Fridays from 11 till three. Okay. And customers can also place orders online and um, if Fridays does not work, then we can do another time, schedule a different pickup time. That's awesome. So do people come to you with ideas and you can kind of do a custom chocolate for, a, for a wedding or a special event or something? For the right price, would, yes. Yeah, <laughs> something that would represent, you know, what they wanted to do. I just, I love that. I love that play on all these different, you know, flavors and cultures and, and different things together. Yeah, and you can tell how excited this makes you. That's just 
It's wonderful to see. But what is your what is your favorite, or what is the most popular? Ooh, can you pick a favorite? Oh, um, <laughs> I cannot pick a favorite. I think that would be akin to asking a parent what's their, their favorite, favorite child. Their favorite we, child. We won't make you choose. <laughs> Tell us uh, what's in this little sampler box, real quick. You've got some beautiful sure, pink chocolate. Sure. Yes. Here. So the sample box. Um, the I have a salted caramel with brandy and cardamom. That's one of the most popular flavors. Ooh, that sounds great. That's the one with the yen. I have candy ginger, hazelnut, um, vanilla, mm. almond butter, and cherry is also another. Um, oh, they all sound so good. Flavor. We're going to have to come check these out. And mm -hmm. you can come check the shop out today. Christina, thank you so much for You're joining welcome. us. Thank you so for having me. So excited to learn about this. Again, a yen for chocolate located on Northwest 19th Avenue near Lovejoy for the shop's retail hours and more. You can go to a yen for chocolate.com. And again, they're open today at 11. Go check it out. Thanks so thank much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hey,